Hey guys, so I didn't give you the origin story of Web Converger. So what happened, back in 2007, I came home to Cornwall. And I had been traveling uh, for years and years, and I also worked actually. I, I, uh, I started my travels when I left University of Helsinki with uh, about 3,000 euros of savings, I think. And I traveled through Russia, India, Asia, Australia. I worked in Australia. Uh, I went over to Korea and I worked in Korea and actually it was in Korea I dare say where I was maintaining like a red hat clone for the um, the Korean market called Hanuks and it was there I was thinking to myself there needs to be a simpler operating system but just the browser you know forget about KDE forget about GNOME and yeah that's how things changed and um, well that's how it all set up in my mind about Web Converger. So here in my parents' place, I came back in 2007, and and um, <laughs> what I did initially was because I was broke, I looked for a job, and of course at that time Google and Google today, you know, 10 years later was 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 like um, the big shot there. So I um, I had a phone interview. I went on site, and while I, while I was on site, actually. I had the, the one of those infamous uh, whiteboard uh, interviews, which I, I flunked, I dare say. And um, but I was chatting to a Googler there, and I was pitching the idea of a web-based operating system. And let me remind you that this is like two years before the Chrome OS. Um, and I was pitching the idea, and he he was actually saying, "Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Web convergence is definitely going to happen." And the web convergence, the, the guy, I don't know his name, he uh, gave me the idea. I thought, web convergence, that's right, that's what's going to happen. And um, I uh, then obviously had the idea that web converger could be a cool name. And I checked it, and yes, webconverger.com was free, webconverger.org, which I also registered, uh, was free. Um, and I came back here um, to my parents' home. Um, after I think uh, learning that I didn't have the job and I was in a pretty bad mood, a pretty bad state of mind. To be honest, in Cornwall, I don't know, it's just so cut off sometimes, the internet being as bad as it is. Um, well, actually, maybe it worked in my favor because at that time I was living at my, with my parents after like traveling the world. I was just like bubbling with, with uh, motivation and, and strength and yeah, I was just, I was just wanting to do something, and um, and basically uh, that's my room up there. I got to work on Web Converger, um, and it was really a matter of excellent timing because at that time Daniel Bauman started the the Debian Live project, and that really helped me to do most of what Web Converger set out to do, um, and I basically leveraged Debian. And I, uh, uh, you know, bundled the browser and Xorg and created Web Converger. So that was it. I'm just trying to kick off my boots. Oh no, it's muddy. Oh no. This is a proper countryside here. Oh. So with my mum and dad feeding me great food, and we get some awesome food here in Cornwall. Uh, yeah, we had the lobster, twelve pound fifty for a lot for a bowl of lobster, and they're huge. So, um, yeah, in two thousand seven, I started with Converger, and and I didn't have any, any ambitions for it to be a business actually. Um, Actually, not too sure why I say that, but I, th I mean, I think I did, but at the same time, I didn't because, because I think I, I just realized that I needed a job. So w when, um, when I actually finished it, and it didn't really take me that long to come up with the prototype, less than a month, I think. And I uploaded it, which <laughs> took probably like more than a night. Um, I then, this is where I work. Um, when I um, uploaded it, I think I said about getting a job, which I did as a contractor in Docklands, which was a awful job, but um, it was only like maybe a month later, 
I set up PayPal with it and I got my first order from a, a big bank. <laughs> Hershey's! <laughs> and, and then I knew there was potential to maybe um, make a business out of it. But I did work many years. Um, it was only in, maybe in 2011 when I went full time on it. I just want to quickly show you some of the postcards I had with my, my travels. Uh, of course, I went to Japan. Um, that's from South America. It's from Thailand, India, China. Looks like Thailand again. Oh no, that's uh, Laos. Uh, that's my postcard from Afghanistan, but it's actually from Pakistan. Uh, Brazil, Argentina, Russia, Australia, Nouvelle Caledonie. All right, so that's how Work and Virgin got started. Uh, it was a basically just a couple of weeks of full-on concentration and no Facebook and other distractions and uh, I guess there's there's developing the software and knowing that people actually like it and that sort of validation was important and then and then I had uh, the tenacity to put a PayPal customization link uh, months later while I was working in London and then um, after that order, I just thought, yeah, maybe, maybe there has a chance. Thanks for watching, guys. Please give me a big like.